Clarence was born to be hated. Everybody rejected him in his life, even when he got older. He wanted to prove that when he worked hard, he can get what he wants. You won't believe what stood in his way. Ugh, this stupid thing. I hate it. Uh, ma'am, is something wrong? You should be happy. You've got a beautiful, healthy baby boy. Look, doctor, after spending five minutes with this stupid thing, I hate it, and I want to leave. I don't want this kid anymore. It's gross. Can you, like, take it away or, I don't know, give me a better child? What? Give you a better child? N no, absolutely not. This isn't the right way to do things. I don't care. Here, take it. This isn't my problem anymore. That baby sucks. Ugh. Hey, wait! You can't just do this! This is your child! Th that woman was your sister, wasn't it? Yeah, what happened? Is everything okay? Uh, no, she just left. She says she doesn't want to take care of the baby anymore. I guess it belongs to you two now. Uh, <laughs> No, no, th that baby is not our problem. Right, honey? Yeah, no, absolutely not. I want nothing to do with this kid. Please, s someone's just got to take this baby. It, it needs to be raised in a home and have a good life. Ugh, I really don't want to do this, but fine. Whatever, we'll take the stupid kid. I can't believe that I'm still doing chores. I've been doing them all day. Um, excuse me, I think someone forgot to wipe the doorknobs. Please, can I just stop? I'm so tired. I've been doing chores since like 4 a.m. It's nighttime now. Come on. Are you talking back to me? Oh, the nerve that you think you can just tell me what you can and can't do in this house. I'm not telling you anything. I'm just asking, please. I don't know why you guys make me do chores all the time. It's like you guys hate me. Yeah, well, you're right. We do hate you. You're the worst. You're nothing. You're useless. We should have left you on the streets when we had the chance. I don't even know what to say to that. I I'm sorry. I'm doing the best that I can. Well, your best obviously isn't very good enough if this is the best you got. <sighs> Just get back to your chores, will you? N no, I don't want to, okay? I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Hmm. Well, fine. Go outside and sleep in the shed. You're not welcome back in this house. No, no, no. I don't want to. Please, let me stay inside. There's like bears and wolves and stuff out there. I don't want to sleep outside. Too bad. I don't care about what you want. You're sleeping outside. Now get lost. My gosh, I can't believe this. They're the most horrible people in the world. Why does everybody just hate me? Oh, well. At least no one will bother me in here. Guess what? There's only 50 Shane Plays plushies left in the entire world. Make sure you go to shameplays.shop and pick one up today. Oh, gosh, I am not excited for school at all. Everyone here is so mean to me for some reason. Whoa, the fire alarm. Oh, gosh, I hope everyone's okay. It was him! He did it! This stupid idiot right here, I saw him do it! Clarence, is that true? Did you set off the fire alarm? What? No, I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? I just walked into school. He's a stupid liar, I'm telling you right now. I watched him with my own two amazing, beautiful eyes that see everything. I saw it! Well, Brock is not one to lie, Clarence. It's obvious that you did it. You've got detention for a month. And if you do this again, you'll be expelled. Well, I didn't mean to. Um, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Man, you are the worst, huh? Why would you do that to me? Uh, I don't know. Probably because it's hilarious. You are the worst person ever. Even your own parents didn't want you. <laughs> Man, just stop it. Just stop. Leave me alone. Why are you so mean to me all the time? Brock, why don't you shut up and leave him alone? Oh my gosh, whatever, man, whatever. I'm, I'm done with this anyway. Enjoy crying like a baby. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm used to it at this point. Have we met before, by the way? I'm Clarence. I'm Michael. I'm really sorry about what happened. I saw everything. Brock completely blamed the fire alarm on you. He was probably the one to do it. Yeah, he picks on me a lot. I mean, pretty much everyone here does. 
Well, I've never picked on you. I mean, I've never even seen you before. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, man. I, I, I don't know why we haven't met before, but... Anyway, I'm kind of glad that we did. I appreciate you standing up for me. Not a lot of people do that. Yeah, of course. Not a problem. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. This whole fire alarm thing just ruined our lunch period. Do you think they're going to make us skip lunch? I don't know, but I'm hungry too. You want to grab lunch together? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. What is going on? Ugh, look at you. Get up off the ground, you stupid idiot. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Uncle. I, I didn't mean to fall down. It wasn't my plan. What are you even doing home? Shouldn't you be in school? Well, I started off okay, but then towards the end of the day, everyone just kept making fun of me again. So I just left. I, I was scared. I'm tired of people picking on me. Yeah, you are such a big baby. You're afraid of school? Well, actually, kind of makes sense since you are stupid. You don't belong there anyways. Go up to your room and get out of my face. I don't even want to look at you. It's so cold in here. I hate this. I don't, just don't understand why I'm not good enough for anyone. I feel like everyone around me hates me. I, I need to make a change. I, I, I want my life to be better. It can't always be like this. But hey, I mean, it can always be worse. At least it's not raining. Oh, great. Okay, class. So in front of you is a piece of paper that has an equation that only people can answer if they've been through years and years of school. Like, I'm talking master's degree in college. So I thought it would be kind of fun to see if anybody here could solve it. So give it a try. And when you're done, bring your paper up to the front of the class. This doesn't seem too hard. Wait, I think I got this. Hey, Mr. Banks, check this out. Whoa, clearance finished already, huh? Let's see. Um, wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I get this completely wrong? No, you you solved it, Clarence. This is right. Oh my gosh. Are you sure that this is a hard problem? Are you just messing with me? No, Clarence, I'm not. Great job. This is incredible. A kid at your learning level shouldn't be able to solve this, but you did it. Wow, that feels really awesome. I, I can't believe it. Usually everyone tells me I'm stupid. Well, all right, class, that's it. Class dismissed. Whoa, dude, great job. I can't believe you solved it. Thanks, I really can't believe it either. This is awesome. You must be like really smart. Wow, I can't believe this. School's been such a distraction lately. It's been really hard to concentrate, but that made me feel so good that I got that question right. I finally feel like maybe, like I'm moving forward. This makes me like really want to study. Maybe I can go into my shed and just kind of like hang out and read some books and then oh my gosh What the heck happened? That's what you get for failing your test in all of your classes. I didn't think I failed everything It's been so distracting at school auntie. I, I don't know what else to do. Everyone picks on me all the time I can't concentrate look that sounds like a you problem not a problem for me You're just a failure in life. So just accept that. Okay. I'm not a failure, but wait, where do I get to sleep? Do I get to come back inside now? No, absolutely not that house. That's for winners outside. That's for failures So, you know where you belong I think this is the right house. Clarence, Clarence, wake up. Whoa, oh, oh, Michael, hey, what's going on? Dude, when you told me the other day you slept in your backyard, I didn't believe it. I, I had to come see it for myself. What are you doing out here? Well, I was sleeping in a shed, but my aunt destroyed it because I failed a bunch of stuff on my report card. But dude, you're so smart. How are you failing? Well, it's distracting. Everybody makes fun of me all the time. And sometimes people literally take my papers and throw them away. And sometimes I just leave school because I'm just so tired of being picked on. Oh man, I'm so sorry. And it's getting really cold out. Are you going to sleep out here all night? Yeah, I'm freezing, but I don't have a choice. This is basically where I live. No way, dude. You can stay with me. Come on. Let's get out of here. You're not sleeping outside.
dude, what's wrong? I don't know. Sometimes I just feel so disappointed in myself. I want to be good enough for my aunt and uncle to like me. Dude, from what you tell me, those people are awful to you. Why do you care what they think? I don't know. I shouldn't care what anybody thinks, but I just want people to care about me. I just want to feel like I'm good enough for someone. Come on, Clarence. You're good enough. Yeah, I don't know. Look, th this was nice, but I gotta go home. They're gonna be upset if my uncle comes out to mow the lawn and I'm not sleeping out there. Well, okay then. We'll see you later. Hey, thanks again for cheering me up last night, dude. It was really fun hanging out. I just feel really bad about failing. Dude, I still can't believe you're actually failing. You're smarter than me, and I'm at least a B student. I, I don't know. I, it doesn't really make any sense to me either. Oh, hey, look at this kid. The stupid idiot who's failing all his classes. What do you want, Brock? Oh, I just wanted to see the stupidest person I ever met in my life in person. And there it is. You. <laughs> Brock, shut up. Clarence is smart. He's way smarter than you. Yeah, whatever. You're probably just as stupid as this kid is. What are you guys, like, dumb and the dumbest person ever? Brock? Yo, Mr. Banks, what's up, man? Uh, I was just telling these guys about how uh, how awesome class is and how great school is and stuff, right, guys? Brock, you are a liar. I overheard everything. You're making fun of them for being stupid and picking on them. That's not acceptable. Yeah, whatever. You're stupid, too. I'm out of here. Clarence, I couldn't help but overhearing Brock's annoyingly loud voice. But you're failing? Yeah, I guess I am. This is extremely confusing. You get an A on every single one of your tests. Yeah, that's what I thought. It didn't make any sense to me. Well, this is definitely strange. I'm sorry, I gotta go deal with Brock. He can't get away with bullying people. Dude. Something really weird is going on, don't you think? Yeah, why would my aunt tell me that I failed when I obviously didn't? I don't know, man. I think something is going on. I'm not going to be pushed around anymore. I don't care if anyone hates me. I need to get to the bottom of what happened. Alright, I just gotta be quiet. Oh, auntie, hi! What do you think you're doing in this house? Uh, I, I came to do the dishes. I was just collecting them from the house, that's all. Fine, but as soon as you're done, you get back outside, you hear me? Yes, ma'am, sure, no problem. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. Okay, I gotta try to find it. Ooh, a letter! Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I've been passing with straight A's all the time. Is she making fake report cards just so that she can yell at me for failing? What is that, an alarm? She has an alarm in here? Oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. Oh no, you don't. Where do you think you're going? Oh gosh! Yeah, that's right. Snooping around where you don't belong. You're in big trouble now. Oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, the window. I can just climb out of there. Did you steal from us, Clarence? Where are you? All right, here it goes. Whoa, Michael? Dude, come on, let's go. All right, come on, let's run. Dude, this is gonna be a huge step up from the treehouse we've been living in. Yeah, man, I'm so excited. I really hope they accept the offer. Yeah, me too, man. I'm really sorry that I got you kicked out of your house. I just can't believe that your parents hated me so much. They literally just threw us out. Yeah, I've never seen them act like that before either. And after seeing that, I didn't want to be around them. Well, I appreciate you sticking by me, man. You're a good friend. And I promise that someday things are gonna get better for both of us. Um, excuse me, what do you think you're doing on this property? What? Well, we're supposed to live here. We're, we're trying to buy this place. We're waiting to see if the offer was accepted. I'm the real estate agent for this house, and I'm never going to sell it to someone as stupid as you. Well, that's not a good reason not to sell us the house. We've been saving up money. We, we got enough. 
Yeah, I doubt it. Look at your clothes. You definitely don't have enough money to buy this house. And it's actually really cheap. You can't do this. We put an offer in on this house fair and square. I can do whatever I want. In fact, if you don't leave the property, I'm going to call the cops. Look, we don't need any trouble. Come on, man. Let's just get out of here. Huh, what is this? It's a poster for a university. Hey, Clarence, the two of us should apply for college. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm smart enough for that. Plus, no one likes me. Uh, no one's going to want me around. I'd be better suited in a job or something where I'm by myself. Dude, that's not true at all. You are so smart, and you deserve something better than a job folding t-shirts or something like that. Everyone around me just hates me. I just wish that I had more self-confidence. Well, dude, I think doing this will actually give you that confidence you need. I know you can do this. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, nothing's ever going to happen if I don't at least try. Hey, look at this. Oh, my gosh. It's been, what, 10, 12 years since I've seen you ugly faces, huh? Whoa. Hey, Brock. Nice to see you. Yeah, I overheard that you were trying to go to the school, huh? There's no way you guys are getting in. You know what? I want to make something of my life. I don't have to listen to what you say anymore, Brock. We're grown-ups now. Yeah, we're grown-ups, huh? How about this? <laughs> you loser. All right, man. We have to go talk to our teacher and try to get a letter of recommendation or they're not going to let us in the school. All right, let's do it. Hey, Mr. Banks, how's it going? Whoa, Clarence, Michael, it's been years. It's really good to see you. Yeah, no, it's really great to see you as well. Say, Mr. Banks, we could really use your help. We need a letter of recommendation to apply to college. Do you think you'd be able to help us out with that? Well, I don't know, boys. I mean, it's been a while since you two have been in school. Yeah, I understand, man. Mr. Banks, please, we really need this letter to get into college. And Clarence is so smart. He needs this chance. Is there... Some kind of test he can take so he can prove how smart he really is? Well, he could take this test. I mean, yeah, why not? Clarence, see if you can answer the questions on this paper. All right, wow, this is super easy. Yeah, no problem at all. Here you go. Just as I remember, so smart. You got every question right. Wow, that's awesome. So what do you think, Mr. Banks? You think we can get that letter? Oh, absolutely. Here you go. Clarence, I know you are so smart. You're going to do great things. I hope you get into that school. Man, I can't believe this, dude. We should be living in a much better house than this. I I'm tired of living in a tree house, dude. Yeah, it is kind of ridiculous, but... I mean, we've got nowhere else to go. Yeah, I'm really sorry, man. It's my fault. That guy hated me as soon as he saw me. I just knew it. What? Dude, you have no reason to be sorry at all. That real estate agent was a total jerk. That's the only reason why we didn't get that house. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, you stupid idiots! Wow, I can't believe this is where you live, huh? Brock, what are you doing here? Did you follow us? Yeah, because it looks like you got a letter that I need. I ain't letting you guys get into college at all. Take this! Whoa, what are you doing? No, it's our treehouse! It's not a tree house anymore, stupid. How you like that? You ain't going to my school. Brock, get back here. Everything we have in this house, it's all burning down. No, all of our stuff. Why does nothing ever go right, Michael? Now going to school really is our only option. We have to do this. Yeah, I agree. We need to get that letter back and we need to get into college. We can't let anyone stand in our way anymore. I want my life to be successful. I do too. Come on, let's go get Brock. We need that letter. 
All right, so is this really gonna work, Michael? Brock always comes here on Thursday afternoons and posts about it on his stupid Snapchat. He has to be here. All right, well, this works. Why don't we disguise ourselves as waiters so we can get closer to him without him realizing it? Yeah, dude, you are so smart. Well, how are we gonna get the letter, though? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out. You know what? I can do this. You stay here. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Oh my gosh, you are so dumb. I'm getting you fired. Oh, this shirt was expensive, man. I'm sorry, sir, but it's just water. Shut up. I got to go to the bathroom and try this off now. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> Stupid. This was way too easy. Awesome. Come on, let's get out of here before Brock finds out. Hey, pizza guy, where's that waiter from earlier? And all my stuff. What way are you talking about? You know, the one that was over there. What are you, are you stupid, man? He works for you. Hey, don't call me stupid. I'm the only one working here today. Well, it looks like one of your employees stole my stuff. All right, man. And I need it back. What aren't you understanding, you idiot? I'm the only one here. There's no one else. Some homeless guy off the street probably came in and scammed you. My gosh, are you kidding me? I know who this is. Clarence, Michael. Oh man, I'm gonna teach these idiots a lesson. Those two idiots are not going to college with me. How dare you, you stupid man. You think you're gonna come here and apply to this school? Get lost, loser. No, yeah, I, I meet all the credentials, see? I just I just want to get in the school, that's all. I know what you want, okay? But you're not gonna get it. Not on my watch! Now get out of here! You're wasting my time! I'm here to help real students, not stupid, stupid idiots like you! Okay, sorry for wasting your time. So, how did it go? Oh, he wouldn't let me in. He wouldn't even let me apply. What do you mean he wouldn't let you apply? That's his job, is to let students apply to school. Well, he just kept calling me a stupid idiot and screaming at me, and I just was like, you know what, it's not worth it, and just walked away. Ugh, oh, Clarence. Dude, you have to stick up for yourself once in a while, okay? You can't just let people walk all over you all the time. It's not good. I know, I just don't have the confidence to. I don't understand why. You need to find the confidence in yourself. Listen, life isn't just going to be easy, all right? It's not going to be a cakewalk, and you're going to have to go over obstacles to get to your goals. But you need to be confident in yourself, otherwise you won't get past anything. You're right. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of people standing in my way. Oh, you, you're back again, huh? I worked hard on this application, and you're going to take it. I want you to submit this now. Who do you think you're talking to, sir? I'm talking to somebody who just works at the front desk. You don't get to make this decision, okay? And if you do try, I'm gonna bring in the authorities and you're gonna lose your job. I'm not messing around, man. Fine, fine, I'll take the application, my goodness. But where did all this confidence come from? Dude, I just have to say, I am so proud of you. Finally sticking up for yourself, and look what happened. Yeah, thanks, I know. I mean, you were the one that gave me the push. You just needed a wake-up call, dude. You were feeling bad for yourself. I know. Well, ever since I was a kid, I was always just used to people treating me really bad. But I know that's not the way that it should be. Oh, no. Brock! Yeah, I told you you'd be in trouble if you continued that little mission of yours, stupid! Brock, why don't you just back off, dude, okay? Mind your own business. So what if we're applying to college? Yeah, but who says you're both getting in? You know that university's not close to here, right? If he actually gets in, Clarence is gonna have to move on his own. Well, that's not true. I'll, I'll, I'd be able to move with him. I'm not lying to you, man. You guys need to face it now, all right? Clarence is gonna leave you behind, Michael. Shut up, Brock. I'm never gonna leave him behind. He's my friend. He's gonna leave you behind just like you deserve because you're a loser. Brock, just shut up. Dude, you are so annoying. You know what's annoying? Your mouth. Take this. No. Hey, no. I'm not putting up with you anymore, you punk, okay? Take this, Brock. Ah! 
Oh, stop it, man! Oh, thanks, dude. I can't stand that guy. We gotta get out of here. Come on. I can't believe it. You're really moving away to school. Do you, do you have to go? Yeah, man, I feel like I'm finally confident enough to go, and I didn't think Brock was gonna be right. I, I didn't realize you weren't gonna get in and not be able to come with me. Yeah, I know, and you're my best friend. What am I gonna do without you? I don't know, man, but I really appreciate you pushing me to do this. I mean, I really think that I'm gonna be successful now, and a lot of that is because of you. Well, don't you think there's a way we can be successful here? I mean, we could get a job or something. I mean, do you really have to leave? Uh, this is for my future, and, and if the future goes well, then I can help you out too. We're just in different places in our lives right now, man. And, and this is the path that I have to take. I mean, I'm gonna have no one now. If I get a good job, then I can bring you a good opportunity. And I might never get a chance to go to school again. Clarence, you know what? You are just the most selfish person I've ever met in my life. I can't believe you're just gonna leave me behind, just like Brock said you would. No, I'm not trying to leave you behind. We're still going to be friends. No, I'm not going to be friends with you anymore. I, I hate you. Michael, I'm sorry, okay? But I have to do this. Clarence, you are the worst lawyer I have ever seen in my life. I can't believe you're on this firm. Well, look, I'm sorry, okay? I I'm doing the best that I can. Just give me another chance. Look, my client doesn't even want to tell me any information. That's the problem. I don't know what to do. So, can you tell me any details of this case? Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you anything. But please, I, I need you to. Oh, so you want me to do your job? <laughs> Pathetic. You're awful. Yes, you do have an extremely annoying client. I'll give you one more chance. But either way, I bet you're going to just fail. You're nothing but a disappointment, Clarence. Well, thanks for the constructive feedback, and I'll do my best. Wait a minute. This paper says that Michael is my client? Man, I'm so nervous. I can't believe Michael's my client. Oh, I, I hope this goes well. He was so angry last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, Clarence, is that really you? Michael, yeah, hey, dude, I, I was here to help you with your case. You help me with my case? I don't want your help. Michael, please, man, uh, that's all I've wanted to do. That's what this whole thing was for. And now I'm actually in a position to help you. Just let me help. You know what, dude, no, just leave me alone like you did all those years ago. Just go away. Michael, wait up, man. You're being dumb. You got to think rationally. I can't stand you, Clarence. I'd rather go to prison than get any help from you. Why are you going to prison in the first place, Michael? What did you do? I didn't do anything, okay? I'm being framed by somebody. Look, I'm sorry about what happened all those years ago. But, Michael, I can help you now. Please. I don't want your help. I'm tired of you. I don't want you anywhere near me. Just, just get out of my face. Oh, this is so frustrating. I can't believe that the judge took me off this case just because Michael didn't want me on it. Me and Michael used to just have the best of times. I mean, he really helped me through a lot of horrible stuff. I need to do what I can to help out my friend. I got to learn more about this case. It doesn't seem like Michael to actually commit a crime. He might be telling the truth. Well, maybe I can sneak into the information room and steal whatever documents we have about Michael's case. Okay, I just got to be careful. Right, what do we have here? Ah, there it is. Well, it says that there is a possibility that he has been framed and the address of the person that might have done it. Well, I guess that's a start. Maybe I can check there. Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Oh, I'm so scared and I'm all alone. I've been alone for so long. Please, somebody help me! Ugh. What an awful dream. Is that someone knocking on the door? 
this time of night? Look, Michael, you don't have to say anything, okay? I'm gonna find out who did this. I know that someone framed you and I think I know who it is. Clarence, it's late. Leave me alone. No, I don't care. I'm not gonna abandon you again. I'm not gonna let you go to jail for something that you didn't do, okay? You need my help, face it. Well, you're seriously not gonna leave me alone until you help me, are you? No, I don't care if I'm off the case, man. I'm gonna take care of this, whether you like it or not. All right, this was the address on the document. It's so weird that the cops didn't question this person more. All right, well, let's see who's here. Oh my gosh, what are you doing at my house? Brock? Yeah, what are you stupid? You know who I am, all right? And you're disturbing my favorite show. I never want to see your stupid face again. You understand that? Oh no, man, I, I just wanted to catch up and like see how things are. Look, I don't care about you or whatever. Well, you know I turned into a lawyer, right? And that Michael has a case that came to my firm? Oh, you know about that, huh? Yeah, Michael's a bad guy and everything, huh? Yeah, he's a super bad guy. I can't believe it. I saw in the news that Michael did all that stuff. I can't believe that he's a criminal. I'm glad that you finally got to see Michael's real side. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Hey, so where were you when that crime was going down anyway? I don't know. What are you asking for? You writing a novel? Oh, I was just curious. That's all, man. Yeah, well, like, whatever, man. All right? I was busy doing stuff. That's all you need to know. Now get out of here. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Great catching up, man. I never want to see you again. Hey, Michael, what's up? Listen, I'm starting to get really freaked out about this case, okay? I can't go to jail. So if you're willing to help... I could really use it. Yeah, of course I'm gonna help you. Don't worry. And listen, when we're done, we're gonna go our separate ways, okay? I never wanna see you again after this. Okay, understood, man. Michael, what are we even doing here? Well, somebody stole a bunch of money from the mayor. So I guess this is a great place to start, right? You have to talk to the victim. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'll go talk to him right now. I don't know if you're gonna really get a whole lot out of him. Well, why? Why wouldn't he talk to me? It's your uncle, Clarence. Your uncle became mayor a couple years ago. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look, I, I can do this, all right? I, I just have to try. Hey, uncle. Long time no see. Ugh, who are you? Wait, wait a second. Oh, that stupid face. Clarence, what are you doing? I need to talk to you about Michael's case, okay? Get lost. I thought I got rid of you years ago when you ran away. Yeah, well, I ran away and I became a big shot lawyer, okay? Things are going great for me in my life and I'm here to help my friend. I never asked you for anything. You did nothing but annoy me and waste my money and eat all my food. All you ever did was be cruel to me and put me through years of pain and suffering. All you did was make me feel like I was worthless. Well, guess what? I'm not, okay? I've never asked you for anything and I'm asking you right now for your help. Just get out of my office. I can't believe I even tried. Well, I guess that went exactly the way I thought it was going to. My uncle is the absolute worst person ever. Somehow he's worse than Brock. Dude, I don't think we can do this, okay? I think I just need to give up. I'm probably just gonna go to jail for the rest of my life. No, man, don't talk like that. Look, we just need to take our mind off of stuff. We just need a break. What's that gonna help, dude? Nothing is gonna change the fact that I'm going to jail. Just trust me, okay? We just need a break from this case. Let's just go have some fun. All right, whatever. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Man, I'm really happy that we got to spend time with each other, just like back in the day. Yeah, I guess it was kind of fun, but I mean, dude, we need to focus, okay? This case is serious. I don't want to get sidetracked. Well, the only thing that we can do now is confront Brock about everything. And we're going to try to get him to admit that it was him. Hey, Brock, we need to talk to you. Wow, Michael and Clarence, get off of my property right now. 
No, we need to know the truth. We need you to own up to this crime. <laughs> yeah, right. I would never commit a crime. No, Brock, I would never commit a crime. You definitely would. And you're framing me for all of this. I know it. I ain't do nothing, but I told you guys long time ago that you'd pay for what you did to me. And your next clearance. You're not going to get away with this, Brock. We know that you did it. Yeah, well, watch me. Hey, get back here, Brock. Take this. Ah! <laughs> Later, losers. Clarence, get up. Clarence. Oh, jeez, man. Where's Brock? He got away, dude. Oh, I can't believe this. There is no way we're going to get this guy, dude. He's never going to admit to it. We just have to have faith. Faith is pointless, dude. And I'm wasting my time. I've got to go get ready. My case is this afternoon. It's been fun seeing you again, but I mean, all of this was for nothing. I'm going to jail. I need to figure something out. Maybe I have some paperwork back home that I missed looked over. I'm going to head over there and see if I can find it. All right. And oh my gosh, my house is on fire. No, this can't be. What does this note say? Of course, it was Brock. First my treehouse and now my real house? I can't believe this! He can't get away with it! Clarence! Look, Uncle, I don't need you to come over here and yell at me anymore, right? I just lost my home. My life's bad enough. Is that what you want? Are you happy now? I'm not here for any of that. I'm, I'm here to tell you that I'm sorry. What? Why? Seeing you the other day really got me thinking. I was an awful angry person, and I took everything out on you. I'm I'm really sorry. Well, what are you doing here now? What, why does it matter? Well, you said you needed help, and here, I think you're gonna need this. Is this surveillance footage? Of course it is. There's security cameras all around the mayor's vault. You can clearly see that someone steals the money. And you knew that it was Brock, but you didn't like Michael, so you guys blamed it on him. And then what, you split the money? From the town? I, I can't get into this now. Just take this, and I, I hope it helps. I need to hurry to the courtroom fast. Well, since your representation has decided to not show up and there is no evidence, you are clearly guilty, Michael. Wait! What is the meaning of this, Clarence? I've got evidence. It wasn't Michael. He's innocent. He was framed. What possible evidence do you have now? I've got video evidence. Take a look. It's clear on the tapes that it's not Michael taking the money. Clarence, I can't believe it. You actually found the evidence. You did it. Thank you so much. Young man, you are free to go. I know exactly who this fellow on the tapes is. We have to get him in jail immediately. Court dismissed. See, I told you, Michael, I wasn't going to abandon you. You actually did it. You caught me off the hook. I can't believe this. Well, I'm good at my job, and I hope now we can move forward as friends again with a clean slate.